Hey guys, what's up? It's G here, and today I would like to talk to you guys about Sibiac, how to install it, and what behavior to look for. Now, Sibiac is a free NVDA add-on, and it is short for Single Image Blob Interface Accessible Control. Now, the purpose for Sibiac is to make software for recording and engineers accessible for the blind that normally would not be accessible because of one reason or another, largely due to being very graphical heavy. Now, Sibiac uses multiple pieces of functionality to make it work properly, including OCR and the ability to manipulate your mouse with keyboard commands. So, in order to use Sibiac, it is a screen-based tool, and in order to use it, you have to make the following settings. Number one, you need to have your magnification on your Windows desktop set to 100%. I'll give you an example of that here in Windows 10 since that's what I am currently running. So let me go over to my desktop. Context menu. And I'm going to bring up. Personalize R. Display settings D. My display settings. Settings. Settings window. And I'm going to tab down. Scale and layout grouping. Change the size of text, apps, and other items combo box 100%. Ready. Right there, that needs to stay at 100%. And then your resolution. Advanced scaling settings link. Resolution combo box 1920 times 1080. Recommended. Collapsed. Okay, so as you can see, I'm at 1920 by 1080. Now, it is recommended to stay at your highest possible resolution. And as long as your scaling factor is at 100%, you should be fine. It has been tested to work on Windows 10 and apparently has been confirmed to work on Windows 7 as well, which is very nice to know. New notification. Okay, so... Now, the behavior to look for in Reaper prior to Sibiac's installation. Folder view list. Recycle. Reaper. I'm going to open up Reaper. Reaper v5.961 slash x64 register. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to point out is in preferences. Reaper preferences dialog, the default shape used for new crossfades. Now. Track slash send defaults one of two level one. Level zero project expanded two of Okay, in your project expansion, which is level one keyboard slash multi level zero project expanded two of nine. You're in your uh, folder tree or properties options tree. Level one track slash media item defaults two of two. Now when you go to media item defaults, edit. Find button. You're tab over. Okay button. Cancel button. Property page default fade in create automatic fade in defaults for media items grouping. Create automatic fade in slash fade out for new items. Length. Okay, now here's one thing to note. Edit. Select overlap and cross fade items when splitting. Length. Edit. Default fade in slash fade out shape button. Okay, right there it says default fade in and fade out shape. It just says button. Default crossfade shape button. Default crossfade shape is just a button. Right click on crossfade sets fade shape for only one side of. Okay, that's one thing to look for. Another thing to look for is I'm going to bring up a track. Track name edit. Track view. I'm going to add Standing an effect. FX, FX. Dialog. At VSTI. I'm installing it. I'm running Addictive Drums too for this particular demonstration. But really, actually, I should do FX, something that anybody can do. So let me delete this. FX, track one at FX2, track one dialog filter. I'm going to use GTune because GTune is free and anybody can download it. List one list. VST, GTune, GVST. Okay. FX, track. All right. Now, I'm going to tab down now that I have GTune installed. Edit mode. List one list. See? Okay. Edit, list one list. VST, GTune, GVST, one of one. Okay. Edit multi line button. 0.1% slash 0.1% CP plus button from button 2 and 2 out button UI button now whenever I hear the UI checkbox check you hear checkbox check and only checkbox check and if Sibiac is not working add button 0.1% slash add button Zero, UI button checkbox check see when I tab it'll just take you straight to the add button so there's that and then the last thing Unsafe to check project reaper. Bar one, zero percent. This is a little overkill, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to insert a media item. Media file, virtual, new media item ship, unsaved project, one untitled media item. Now I'm going to bring up the media item properties with Shift F2. Media item properties, untitled media item. OK button, position, edit, length, edit, time radio button checked, fade in, edit, selected zero colon zero, curve, edit, button, curve, edit, button. Now you see it just says button. Fade out, edit, curve, edit, button. OK. Now keep in mind those bits of behavior that I just mentioned. Unsaved pro so I'm going to keep this project open. Folder view list. And I am going to now go to azslow.com. Start window. Where you can download Sibiac and the OCR add-on for Chrome. it. 
AZ slow index. Now, here's an easy way to actually navigate to the actual location of where Sibiac is found. Now, I'm using Google Chrome for this demonstration because that is my preferred web browser. So I'm going to use the heading level three shortcut. Graphic link on red post link is graphic link on red post link. Graphic link on red post link general heading. Graphic link on red post link accessibility heading. And when I get to accessibility, I'm going to start using the link shortcut. On red post link heading level accessibility link heading level three. No new posts graphic. No new po accessibility tools visited link. And find accessibility tools, and I'm going to go into there. Accessibility tools. Now here, I'm going to use the table commands to navigate a table because this is what's going to be in this particular page. Table with ten rows and five columns. Row one. Col and I am going to look for the Sibiac installation thread, not the Sibiac thread. Column three link subjects. Row two visited link Sibiac. Single image blob interface. Access. Now there you can find all kinds of good information about Sibiac and how it works. Row three link AZ accessible OSC. Row four link accessibility and application. Row five link presets for control surfaces. Row six visited link Sibiac. Zap. Row seven visited link Sibiac. Installation start. So I'm going to go to the Sibiac installation. Sibiac installation. Heading. All right. So now I'm in the installation location of his um, web page for Sibiac or on a thread for it. And I'm going to use the F5 or, you know, heading five. Excuse me, not F5, but the heading level five shortcut. Sibiac. And I am going to now down arrow. On November 1st, to list with one items link quote. Out of list note, starting with Sibiac 0.18, there are two add-ons which should be installed. I'm going to let this read to you. Blank. You will need modern NVDA for Windows version to run Sibiac. Current version was developed with 2018.3. Blank. The latest test version of Sibiac is. Link http slash slash www.aslo.com slash index.php action equals downloads sa equals down file and id equals 68. So let's download it. Untitled Google Chrome. D download complete. Sibiac.0.18 b4p1. Patent. Okay. Now continue on reading. Blank. You also need OCR part. Link http slash slash www.aslo.com slash file slash Sibiac OCR.0.1. Patent. So let's download that. Http. Untitled. Downloading 17.9 megabytes. Sibiac OCR. It's a little bit larger file. That's why it's split into two sections. Just a lot easier that way. All right. So once this downloads. We are going to continue reading so you can kind of understand, even though I've kind of went over it, but I'll go ahead and display Download the complete. text on the Sibi page. This part is not going to be changed often. That is why it is in a separate package. Inside is just Tesseract OCR. Many Sibiac overlays take particular recognitions errors of this version into account, so it can work incorrectly with other Tesseract versions slash distributions. Blank. Use NVDA tool for add-ons installation. If you have previous Sibiac versions installed, uninstall them first. Direct update can work incorrectly. Remember to check display settings in Windows. You should set maximal possible resolution and set magnification to 100%. All overlays work correctly when they physically fit to the screen. So there is unusual for accessibility requirement. Open applications maxed. You can use Win plus up shortcut and do not change window size. If you have changed the size, f.emax the window, close and open that window again. Particular overlays can have special requirements, in particular fixed options in applications. Please do not skip corresponding parts of the documentation. The result can be discouraging. Last edit. Okay. Now that we know this, I am going to close the web page. New notification. All right, now I am going to go to my NVDA menus. So I'm going to use the NVDA key plus N. NVDA menu. And I'm going to go to Tools. Prep tool submenu T. View log V. And I am going to now move to the Add-ons Manager. Just some repetition. Add-ons Manager dialog. Now install. I'm going to install the Sibiac and Sibiac OCR add-ons directly through the Add-ons Manager. And the reason I am doing it this way is because with some certain web browsers downloading the OCR part actually downloads it and changes the extension possibly or just recognizes it as a zip folder despite the fact that it is an NVDA add-on extension as opposed to a zip extension therefore trying to potentially do a direct install through the Windows UI may cause problems and actually try to open it as a zip file because basically NVDA add-ons are zip files with an extension name change so keep that in mind, and here we go. Let's go ahead and install the uh, add NVDA. Add-on help button Alt plus A. Disable add-on button Alt plus D. Install. So let's button install. Choose add-on package file. I can dome sample. Sibiac.0.18 B4P1. Sibiac.0.18 B4P1. Okay, so I'm going to down. I'm going to install Sibiac. Add-on installation dialog. Are you sure you want to install this add-on? Only install add-ons from trusted sources. Add-on. Single image blob interface accessible control 0.18 B4P1 author. Alexei Jelezov. Yes button Alt plus Y. Yes. Add-ons manager dialog. Now. Install. About add-on. Add-on help button Alt plus. Disable add-on button. Install. 
But I'm going to add one. another installation. Choose add on package file. Items view. Kendo samples. Sibiak OCR.0.1. Sibiak OCR.0.1. Okay, so let's install the OCR installation part. Dialog. Are you sure you want to install this add-on? Only install add-ons from trusted sources. Add-on. OCR module for Sibiak add-on 0.1 author. Alexei Jelezov. Yes button alt plus y. Yes. Installing add-on dialog. Please add-ons manager dialog. Now that this are, those are installed, you can verify that they are installed first before you go any further by simply single image blob interface accessible using control. the arrow keys. Status install version 0.8 OCR module for Sibiak add-on. Status install version. Okay, so now when you're gonna alt F4 out of the add-ons manager. Restart NVDA dialog. Changes were made to add-ons. You must restart NVDA for these changes to take effect. Would you like to restart now? Yes button alt plus y. Yes. New notification window. Okay, now that we have the add-ons installed, let's verify with NVDA that the add-ons are actually running. NVDA menu. Preferent tools. View log V. Add-ons manager dialog. Single image blob interface accessible control. Status. Enabled. Version. 0.18 before P1. OCR module for Sibiak add-on. Status. Enabled. Version. 0.1. Okay. New notification window. Okay, now that I know that the, the um, add-ons are enabled, let's make sure they're working properly by using some of those things that I just mentioned earlier in Reaper. Unsaved Project Reaper v5.9. Unsaved Project Reaper. Okay, so let's start by going into the Reaper, pre Reaper Preferences. Reaper Preferences dialog. And I am going to be in the same location. Level, level 1 media item defaults 2 of... Media item defaults. Edit. Find button. OK button. Cancel button. Property page default. Create automatic fade-ins. Edit. Overlap and crossfade items when splitting. Edit. Default fade-in slash fade-out shape. Button fast 1. See, now it says fast 1 is the actual name of the button instead of just button. Default crossfade shape. Button slow to fast 1. There you go. There's that. Unsaved project. Now. One untitled MIDI item. Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to show you in the media item properties what to look for. Media item properties. OK button. Position. Edit. Length. Edit. Time radio button checked. Fade in. Edit. Curve. Edit. Fade in shape button fast one. So now it actually tells you the name of the button for f the uh, fade in shape. Fade out. Edit. Curve. Edit. Fade out shape button slow one. And the uh, fade out shape button is now mentioned as well. Unsa and in the effects menu. FX. Track one dialog. 0.1% slash. Now remember, I do have G2 140 hertz. Two no signal. Reference frequency 440 hertz. Two no signal. Okay, somehow I managed to actually get directly into the. Unsafe project. <laughs> I did not know how FX. I did that. Edit multi line. Blank. List one list. VST. G2. So GDST, there's G2. One of one. And. Edit multi line. Button. 0.1% slash 0.1% CPU. Plus button. Perm button. Two and two out button. UI button. And here, where you normally say checkbox check. Enable checkbox check. It'll tell you enabled now instead of just a checkbox. Now, if I tab again, G -tune. it takes Reference me into the G tune window. Hertz. And it actually describes to me what's happening because G tune is part of the Sibiac plugin extensions. Tune no signal. No signal. And to use this, you can actually see my video about how to use G tune with Sibiac. And you can actually see how to use several other programs such as Melodyne and Addictive Drums and quite a few other bits and pieces. So hopefully this video has been informative and if you guys have any other further questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will see you then. Alright well this is G signing out saying thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.